In our earlier lessons, we had seen how to do the computation of logistic regression, the forward propagation step, without using any loop. Uh, and then in our earlier lesson, we had also seen how to remove uh, the loops in the gradient computation of logistic regression. And we had seen that there are two loops, one outer loop, which loops over the M training examples, and one inner loop, which loops over the each of the features. So we had got rid of this inner loop, uh, but this outer loop was still there. And this is the derivatives calculation that is back propagation. So in this lesson, we will get rid of this outer loop as well. So whatever we have we had done on this uh, slide, let's write it cleanly. So you see here we have got rid of w1, dw1, dw2, and so on, and we have replaced this with a dw vector. So this uh, dw vector is representing this dw1, dw2, and so on. Now, uh, what is the goal of this loop? This uh, denotes one step of gradient descent. We want to take one step of gradient descent. And in order to do that, we need uh, the derivative of weights for all the features with respect to loss function and also same for the bias term. That's why we are running this loop. So if we can do that without any loop, then we don't need need this loop. So you see here, what, what are the things in this loop? Wherever you see this i superscript, for example, here you see uh, the derivative of z with respect to li. So we are doing del li over del z, and this will be ai minus yi, that is, if this is 1, then this is a1 minus y1. Similarly, del L over del G of second example, and it's a2 minus y2, and so on for m examples. So uh, what happens if uh, we, we can take this as a vector, and we, uh, by notation we have been using stacking the different training examples 1 through m one after other in this fashion so we will do the same with this so let's define a vector dz equal to del l1 over dz and all the way up to So we have defined a row vector for this dz. And what is this? This is a1 minus y1. Second term would be a2 minus y2. And all the way up to am minus ym. So you see that uh, this can be broken down into a1 a2 all the way up to am minus y1 y2 all the way up to ym so let's denote this a1 a2 all the way up to am as capital a and this we have even done in our previous lesson where we were calculating the logistic regression, the values for forward propagation, and we had seen how we can calculate it in one step. And we had derived it. So let's write it cleanly. So A is this A1, A2, A, M. And we denote Y as y1 these are predicted values and these are actual values all the way up to ym and here we see that this dz which is this vector is 
capital A which is this vector minus capital Y which is this vector of actual outputs. So DZ equal to A minus Y. So what we have calculated? We have calculated all of this in one step. Then uh, we will need this uh, DB and DW. These are the two things we are concerned about in order to make progression. So you see here, once we have these values, we make one step of gradient descent, similarly for B. So let's calculate these uh, DW and DB without this loop. So let's uh, have a look at this loop. Uh, what is DB? DB we are adding for each I, we are adding DL1 dli by dz so let's write it let's clean it so uh, what is the end result of this loop when this loop ends db was initially zero so db is uh, one over m we are dividing db by m in the end so we are doing this and when i is one this is del l one by del del z when i is 2, it's del l 2 by del z and we are adding everything to the previous value. So it's summation from i equal to 1 to m and del l by del z i. So this is what exactly is being calculated here. And this can be written in just one line of python using numpy. 1 over m np dot sum and what are these del l by del z1 del l by del z2 and so on we have defined as capital dz this vector sum of all the elements of this vector so we will write as this vector whichever we have calculated and we are done with dv. So let's write that here as well. Here we are writing the summary. So dv is done. Now next job is dw. So what is dw? So let's write DW. So DW is uh, we divide by M in the end. So let's write it and let's expand this loop. So first it will be X1 del L1 by del Z plus this after I is 1. Then when I is 2, we add to earlier value. So x2 del l over del z of 2 all the way up to xm del l over del z of m. So I have done nothing here, just expanded this loop, what is happening to dw for each value of i and in the end we are dividing by m. So this same thing is represented here. Now what is this? this is 1 over m and if you look at this x1, x2 all the way up to xm so we can expand it as this x1, x2 xm multiplied by del L1 by del Z all the way up to del L M over del Z and this is N cross M 
this matrix we had seen this and we had called it capital X in our earlier lessons capital X and we have 1 over M early before this and what is this uh, let's get back here you see capital DZ is all of those del L over del Z in a row form so if we do transpose of this we will get this thing so it's del Z transpose so now we have calculated this DW vector in one step in this vectorized form so let's write it here del W equal to 1 over M X D Z transpose so now you are ready to make uh, one step of gradient descent so what you will do you will do W W is replaced by W minus alpha learning rate times DW and all the W's will be updated in one step and next we will do the same for B so B becomes B minus alpha d b and we have dw we have db in order to calculate dw we need x and dz and we have already calculated dz here and in order to calculate dz we need a y is already there the actual values and we had cal uh, calculated in our earlier lesson this a row vector so everything we need here is available and no loops are involved so we can do this one step of uh, gradient descent in logistic regression without any for loop uh, but uh, this is for one iteration and we will need to do it for more iterations for multiple steps of gradient descent so for that we will need to have a loop and there is no escape from that so let's say we run for 100 iteration 100 steps of gradient descent so for step in range hundred we will write z equal to w transpose x plus b and a is sigmoid of z so i am writing the complete one step or complete hundred steps of gradient descent here for logistic regression and then we had everything here dz equal to a minus y dw equal to 1 over m x dz transpose db equal to 1 over m this summation of dz which you can also write in one line this also you can write in one line and once you have this you write these two values here and do it for after each iteration so this is the summary of our last three four lessons